for this eye cap. So anyway, this stuff here is this fennel red, which I was telling you about. This fennel red is an indicator which basically tells us whether or not an acid has been formed. So I'll get a few drops of it. And what I'll do is I'll put those drops in this cup here. Okay, I'll mix it around. And as you see, it goes this nice sort of red colour. Now, if I move these across and put these in this glass here, there you go, nice even colour. What I'll do is I'll blow into one of these glasses so where carbon dioxide will get produced and you'll see the difference between uh, or what happens when carbon dioxide is produced. So here goes. Wow, like magic, eh? So this is what we're going to be looking for and if we see something like this, what this means is that we've had a net amount or more carbon dioxide form than has been used up. So you'll be able to then say whether or not more photosynthesis or respiration has occurred in this plant. So anyway, here's the setup. First off, once again we get the fennel red here, I get a few drops and I put it in this water and mix it all around. And now what I'll do is I'll put these in the test tube setups. Now what you're going to see is a Actually, I'm going to double up the test tube setup, so I've got A, B, and C, D. Okay. Anyway, I'll put the, the water in those with the indicator. And now what I'm going to do, so we've got A, B, C, D there. I'm going to go put through in the Elodia in test tubes B and D. So the Elodia is here. I'll put it down on the test down here. Okay, and I'll try to use it from the same plant. Okay, I'll use a similar amount. Okay, and I will now put these in the test tubes. In C, in D. I might even go another step and put a little bit more of the plant in there. Okay, I'm trying to get very equal amounts. I'm not going to be able to get this perfect, but I'm trying to get very equal amounts of Elodia in each. Um, just to act as a bit of a I don't think I'll ever be able to get them exactly perfect. Put them up even facing the right way. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to steal them with sticky tape. Okay, so here we go. So anyway, now they're all sealed up. And what I have to do now to experiment C and D is I have to put these guys in the dark. So here we go. Put this nice little box here. C and D, you guys go in the heat. Alright, see you in one week's time. The other guys, A and B, oh, I'll put them somewhere nice where they'll get a nice bit of sunshine. Okay. These guys are the lucky guys there, these guys can sit here on the windowsill when they get a nice a little bit of sunshine, okay? Alright. You poor guys. Um, we'll find somewhere really, really dark to put you C and D in a little bit. So, what do you think is going to happen here? Well, which one's going to photosynthesize more? Will it be the ones in the sunlight over here? Or will it be the ones in the darkness over here? Are they both going to respire? Or will only one respire? How are you going to be able to tell this? So this will be something for you to think of next week for doing your sack. Any questions, by the way, make sure you ask me. Anyway, I hope that's going to uh, set you in nice stead for doing this sack. So now let's have a quick sneak peek to see how these are going. Okay, I can't, I can't wait. I'm that excited. I can barely wait. So anyway, here's A and B. As you can see, the control really hasn't changed colour at all, whereas B this nice pink colour. Let's see how the ones in the dark are going. They're just over here. Okay. I'll get them out. Anyway. Wow, well, look at C and D there. There's certainly a colour difference in Mr D there. I wonder what he's doing. He's got a nice yellow colour. 
what's caused that anyway that's just something for you to think about all right i'll see you on wednesday